हेलो एवरीवन हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम एमसीक्यूज ऑन सिंगल फेस ट्रांसफार्मर दिस इज द पार्ट टू आई एम गणेश फ्रॉम के के वॉक इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च नाशिक वॉट आर द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ टूडे सेशन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द लर्नर विल बी एबल टू अप्लाई द नॉलेज ऑफ ट्रांसफार्मर टू सॉल्व सम मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन ओके so if the load on the transformer is increased by 50% what happens to the iron loss okay so load on the transformer is increased by the 50% so you, you you can observe here if the load is increased by 50% the current is also increased by 50% but iron losses are independent of the current iron losses is not depending upon the current it depends on the applied voltage hence iron losses will remain same as before okay next the load current is increased by 50% okay so in this it is load current is increased by 50% what happens to the copper loss if the load is increased by the 50% current is also increased by 50% so if the original current is 1 current square so, so uh, by increasing the uh, increasing the load by 50% means new current is 1.5 times of the i square so it gives you 2. Uh, 2.25. So 2.25 means how much increase? Originally it was one. Now it is it is big. It is becoming uh, uh, 2.25. So copper losses are increased by 125 percent. Copper losses are increased by 125 percent. So uh, the correct option is increased by 125 percent. The laminations of the transformer is insulated from each other. Okay, so the two laminations in the transformer are insulated by the insulating medium. So insulating medium, rubber is also insulating medium, glass is also, steel is also. But the paper is the good insulating material to uh, to uh, insulate the two uh, core two iron core in the transformer. The step up transformer, the secondary current is reduced by 20%. So I2 is reduced by 20%. Suppose originally the current is I2. Now the new current is reduced by 20%. Means 1 minus 0.2, it will give you 0.8. So 80% is the new load current is 80% of the square. So it is a what? 0.64 I square. So here there. Uh, so how much it is reduced? So 1 minus 0.64. Almost it is a 0.36. You can treat that as almost it is a 40%. There is a decrease in the losses. There is a decrease in the losses in the transformer. Uh, in the step down transformer whether it is a step up or step down the secondary current is reduced by 20% so see the step down transformer the secondary current is reduced by the 20% so if the secondary current is reduced by 20% i2 is reduced by 20% primary current is also reduced by 20% so primary current and secondary currents are proportional to each other so as the primary secondary current reduced by 20% the primary current will also decrease by 20% so this is the correct option okay so then let us discuss the next questions okay which trans uh, which is not the loss in the transformer so see the options carefully iron loss so iron losses are eddy current and hysteresis loss these are taken place in the transformer this is not the option hysteresis loss is a, is a part of iron loss so it is not eddy current losses are also in the transformer friction and windage these losses are not in the transformer why because there is a no rotating part hence friction losses and windage losses are not there in the step down transformer the voltage ratio is doubled what is the ratio of i1 by i2 it is asked here so v1 by v2 is doubled okay so earlier v1 by v2 whatever the value v1 by v2 is the doubled so v1 by v2 is always equal to i2 by i1 so similarly v1 by v2 is doubled means i2 by i1 is doubled but here i1 by i2 is asked so i1 by i2 is 1 by 2 so it gives you 0.5 so 0.5 means it is a hall the step in the step up transformer the voltage rating of the secondary is doubled than the earlier so voltage rating of secondary so v2 is increased by twice v2 so what will happen with the current so we current current and voltage are having the inverse relationship in the transformer as i discuss it it does not follows the ohms law v2 is inversely proportional to i2 so v2 is doubled so i2 will be um, i2 will be a half i2 will be half because they have to maintain the ratio of v2 into i2 is is equal to s so v2 double then i2 must be half okay so that that's why i2 is get hall the emf equation of the transformer how the emf equation of the transformer is given emf equation of the transformer is 4.4 f 
phi m into n2 but we know that the flux density is equal to maximum flux upon area maximum flux density is equal to maximum flux upon area so flux uh, maximum flux is equal to bm into a so i am replacing this maximum flux by bm into a term so it is a 4.44 f bm into n2 so the correct option is the d option the cross section area of the core in the transformer is doubled suppose the cross section area is doubled so what will happen with the emf induced so you can see here the cross section area and emf induced are proportional to each other hence as the area is doubled that is a twice a so emf induced is also twice e so emf induced is also doubled so correct option is the option number d okay so this is the last slide the flux density of the uh, core in the transformer is double then so we know that emf induced is directly proportional to the flux density so bm is doubled so obviously emf induced is what doubled so old is e new is 2e so emf induced is also doubled in the direct loading trace of the transformer is conducted on direct loading test is only suitable for small capacity of the transformer why in the large capacity of the transformer we cannot flow that much load current in the laboratory so that it is only suitable for small capacity of the transformer that is laboratory type of transformer in the large capacity we cannot connect such type of load we, we don't have a load in the lab uh, to to test the uh, transformer of mva and kva ratings so these options are wrong no load input of the transformer shows okay so whenever no load input so under no load current in the secondary is zero so copper losses is also zero because copper losses are proportional to the square of the current so uh, as the current is zero the copper losses is zero so whatever the primary side wattmeter is showing that is nothing but what uh, iron losses because iron losses are proportional to voltage and they are always constant irrespective of load current so they are always which losses iron losses and iron losses is the combination of this two means this two is in the addition of this two is nothing but what iron loss so our correct option is iron loss the power in the transformer is transferred from primary winding to secondary winding so voltage may not be same the current may not be same resistance may not be same but what is the same frequency on the primary side and frequency on the secondary side is same hope you like this video uh, in the next video we will discuss this some new, small small numerical based on the transformer happy learning and kindly subscribe my channel thank you